Hello, fellow earthlings or aliens or whoever is watching this right now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katrina. I am 26 years old. I live in Tucson, Arizona, and I am just a girl in this world wanting to share value, um, educate on things that I've learned in my life. I want to connect with you real people out there um, <laughs> i'm really nervous right now i'm sorry like i feel like there's been a lot of build up around this just putting out my first video um but i know that i've been wanting to do this for a long time and there's a few reasons for it um one like i said i want to connect with my people out there i want to be able to help inspire entertain educate motivate <laughs> just create um other people out there who have been in the position that i know what it's like to be in which is you know finding connection through youtube truly youtube has been a big help in my life and like for so many different things like every day i'm on youtube for hours i watch interviews i watch podcasts i watch funny videos i watch educational videos how to's you name it I've watched it <laughs> and there's just something about YouTube that's so fun so so uh like it really helps you feel like you're not alone you know what I mean and some things like some things have just been absolutely life-changing for me and certain YouTubers have really helped me through some dark times and I can't think of them all right now <laughs> but but anyways there are a lot of youtube accounts um some are like vlog style some are like comedians some are podcasts some are like more interview based some are just like random shit <laughs> renovations and stuff but like all in all like i just love youtube i love the value that you can get from youtube and what's been holding me back all this time is feeling like honestly like i don't have value to provide which is not true it's a limiting belief and and quite frankly i'm tired of having limiting beliefs that are holding me back in life so this is definitely a personal like there's definitely personal reasons for me wanting to make a youtube channel as well one uh <laughs> as you can already see I am like all over the place when I talk. I'm pretty sure I have like undiagnosed ADHD or something. Haven't been officially diagnosed with anything. So that's that. Um, but I definitely, my mind can kind of bounce around. It can be a little hard to stay focused if I'm being quite honest. Um, I just go on tangents like I just did. So what I was saying, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's one of my reasons is I want to get better at public speaking and honestly like talking into a camera like right now is literally harder to me than talking to no this is just as hard I feel like as talking to a group audience no just kidding that that's my biggest fear when people say public speaking is their biggest fear that's me um and this is pretty close to public speaking like I'm speaking and I do not know how many people are going to see this and i do feel like you're already judging me and it's a me problem that's not it's not it may or may not be true you may be judging me that's a you thing for me to think that you're judging me and for me to act accordingly based off that that's a me thing that's a me thing i need to work on asap so for me making this youtube channel and just starting like just making a video talking and posting it like that's what I want to do because it's scary and like I feel like I don't want to stay in my comfort zone for a long time um the comfort zone is comfortable it's nice it's warm it's safe um but it can get boring and I feel like I've I've been ebbing and flowing in and out of the comfort zone and the growth zone and right now I'm definitely in a growth zone where I feel the motivation to create this video and post it and say like basically fuck what anyone thinks and it's definitely embarrassing to me that you're watching this right now 
it's definitely embarrassing but i'm making a purposeful like mind shift to not care because i truly believe now that caring about what other people think too much is holding me back that's why i haven't posted this video yet so there we go that's my personal reason it's for growth i want to grow personally and i want to grow this youtube channel my dream life is is honestly <laughs> is like a lot of you guys it's to be free i want to feel free i don't want to feel like there are things that i have to do even though that's life like there will always be things that we like life will always be hard you know what i mean like it'll always be hard work no matter what we're doing sorry guys i keep trying to remind myself to look at the camera and not myself in the front facing camera <laughs> um but i'm i just have it front facing because i need to see how long i'm taking i'm kind of in between two dance classes right now but i have like an hour to to talk and make this video so i'm like perfect opportunity anyways um tangent adhd ooh, ooh, ee, ooh. um what was i saying so i uh I want, uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of obvious. YouTubers make bank. Um, I want to make bank, okay? I'm done being around the bush. I want to be rich as fuck. I want to be a millionaire, a billionaire. And you know what? My past beliefs, like, are connected with, like, like make this connection of guilt and money. Like, like, my past self would believe that, like, I'm not worthy of a million dollars a billion dollars i would feel like because i have it i have to take it from someone else and truly that is not the case there is an abundance so i went from having a limited belief around money to i am now practicing my abundance belief around money i want to believe and i do believe i am practicing this belief and putting it into action believing that there is an abundance of money out there. They're literally printing money right now. And if you provide value, you are doing the community a service. You're not being a burden. Like you, you putting your ideas and your creative thoughts out there and sharing your unique wisdom is a one of a kind experience like nobody knows what you have to say and that's the beauty in it that's the beauty in like this growth of social media like as many cons as there are to, to social media there are a lot of pros and the fact that everyone everyone with a phone and a camera has an equal opportunity to share their voice is amazing we have to realize that this is this is our opportunity like if i want to like make money from you know content creation which is basically the new version of like being famous like you you can get yourself there and you are the one to get yourself there it's not about getting through managers anymore or however <laughs> however that works back in the day i don't know all i know is we have access we have our phones we have a camera we have the button to press post so why have i not done it yet because i've been scared I have been so scared of judgment, of like just feeling stupid, feeling embarrassing and like it's bound to happen. But the the fact of the matter is I don't care anymore. Like I'm tired of like working so hard and feeling like it's not enough. Like I'm ready to level up. I want to level up. I want I want like I I already worked so hard in my life. And becoming like a YouTuber is also hard work. There's no doubt that it's going to be hard work like i've been recording my day and it already has taken up so much more time than it would have taken to not record my day like it's definitely i see how it becomes a full-time job and i don't have the time for a, to become a full-time youtuber right now i i have a business i have a job i like same thing <laughs> i have a business that takes up a lot of my time already i have a beauty business it's called guapa aesthetics it's with my sister we share it we love it we work amazing together we have honestly achieved success in my opinion like we're not a huge company we're definitely still a small business we've only been in business for about three a little over three years and it was definitely like a trust the process kind of thing um 
because from the moment I started so we specialize in, in eyelash extensions and the moment I started like learning eyelashes that was actually 10 years ago so I mastered the skill before creating the business and that's just how it went for me like I'm not saying that you know if you're gonna start a lash business or a beauty business you need to do exactly what I did I'm just saying what works for me is that I mastered a skill and then I created a business out of it like I, I had to see that the demand was there in order to have the confidence to move forward. Back then, I did not have the confidence whatsoever to start a business from scratch. No way. Like I'm truly still building my confidence up. And but I'll say that it's grown. It's grown with the action of doing things with the with the action of creating the business. Like I started to just um Honestly, I noticed what, that what would work best is when I, I didn't overthink too much. When I kind of just like right before going into, say, an appointment with a new client, which I would have nerves for. Right before going into that appointment, I would just like take a deep breath and be like, just relax. You got this. And I put the 100% trust in myself that like my deep inner self when I'm not nervous knows what's up, knows what's best, knows how to handle every situation that can come at me. It's all about just releasing that like blockage, that blockage that is fear, it's shame, it's like, it's just negative feelings. It's, it literally feels like a blockage of energy. And if you like tap into how you're feeling, I know you know what I'm talking about, like you can feel when your energy feels blocked. It might be from the heart. It might be your throat. Like my throat chakra, which if you don't know about chakras, like I love, I would love to talk about them more. Um, but my throat chakra like feels blocked a lot of the time. It's, it's been hard for me to express myself. So like this is also practice to express myself. It's practice to get over the fears, you know, to truly improve in a way that I've never really done before. And that's putting myself out there. That's like putting the full trust into the fact that like, I know I have value deep down and I just have had trouble expressing it. And that's with everyone. Like not everyone is out there expressing themselves fully. I know it, I, I can see who is. And then you don't see who isn't because they're, they're hidden in a way. And if you wanna be hidden, that is totally fine. For me, like, I feel the need to express myself. I feel like it's part of my fulfillment. I feel like it's a part of my journey that has to happen. I can't describe it any more than that other than I just feel it like an intuitive feeling that that's what I need to be doing. So that's that. Um, I hope that I hope that like just being myself can provide value for you guys um, because I know what it feels like to be feeling super lonely and then to like just look up something on youtube and all of a sudden feel like you're connecting with somebody and like there's a beauty to it because honestly like we have our people that are directly around us and sometimes those are the same people that you're seeing all the time and like we only have so much time we can't always be going out to like you know wherever you go to like meet new people and socialize I honestly don't do it enough but um that's because I do try to use social media to my advantage you can find more like-minded people easier through social media and it's a beautiful thing and if you've been rejecting it I I would say try to open up your mind and maybe like embrace it a little bit because it is it's what's going on and if you're not in social media you might be feeling a little left out unless you have a whole community of people who are on the same page as you not on social media living out in the woods <laughs> hunting and berry gathering whatever that's a life too that's a vibe you would not be seeing this video if that was your life uh if you're seeing this video chances are like you're involved in so you like you scroll you scroll and if you scroll you should also be outputting Okay, like I believe and I don't know where I heard this from, but I heard it from somewhere that we should be in kind of like a cycle of learning, then creating, learning, then creating. If we're just taking in, taking in, taking in all this content, like who are we anymore? We're just what we consume at that point. So 
like tapping into ourselves is how we're able to create and output new things and yes we can get inspired by things that we input for sure inspiration is a real thing that that sometimes you need like sometimes you need to see something external for inspiration and that is totally okay whatever you need to do to feel inspired to tap in with yourself and to like find that creativity deep down within something that's meaningful to you something that you feel like has either helped you or could help someone else like put it out there we we need more of that positive energy in this world and I feel like you know with the news and stuff and like it's obvious that at any time there there's a lot of bullshit going on in the world a lot of sad things deaths like natural disasters like murder like the worst things going on and I feel like with spreading more positive energy people are way less likely to go there and yeah basically I just want world peace and I feel like one by one we can do that okay (laughs) so yeah I started this YouTube channel to uh to have world peace yeah so like I said I I just want to share with you guys my life experiences um things that have helped me through my journey like I said some some certain certain youtubers (laughs) I'm working on on talking better I'm working on not stuttering I have a bad stutter I have a bad stutter I had a bad stutter I don't have a stutter anymore I used to have a stutter see that see what I just did there okay so what I was saying was fuck what I was saying was I feel like when I put pressure on myself I literally can't think um (laughs) what I was saying was fuck do I need to rewind why I'm making this YouTube channel oh just share yeah okay (laughs) I just back to why I'm making this this youtube channel my intentions behind this um honestly i can't tell you exactly what i'm going to be posting i'm i'll let you know that it will be random there will be some talking videos like this of course because that is definitely something i'm trying to grow in um i might post some tutorials i might i definitely want to do interviews i want to interview like random people and I want to make sure that I have a good, like, set of questions to ask them to get a good interview out of it. That's something, like, for some reason, I feel kind of called to do. So I would love to do that. Um, I I love anything that's, like, growth-based, like, mindset, psychology, sociology, um, like, therapy kind of things. Couples therapy. I love, like, dating and relationship, sex topics, um, business, finance like anything that's fitness moving your body health like like I just want to like live it up like I just want to be healthy wealthy successful happy fulfilled as fuck I want to have like the best relationships in my life um I like this car that I'm in right now I love she had like this is my only car that I've ever had I've had her her name is Natasha I've had her since I was I think just when I turned 17 is when I got my first car 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 i've had her for nine years i've had her for almost a decade and she's been through so much oh my gosh she's been through a lot uh (laughs) she's been through a lot yeah uh sorry memories um (laughs) good and bad but what i'm saying is i love this car she's gotten me through almost a decade but see i'm comfortable i'm I'm comfortable in this car (laughs) like i want to level up this is the car that i want i'm gonna figure out how to put the picture right there this is the car that i want i want a pearly pink tesla like but i'm honest i'm still researching teslas i'm like i know they're like fun and all but are they hyped up is there a better electric car 
that I could go for or a hybrid car, something that's hopefully a little bit better for the environment. Um, ideally, I would, I would be so happy with a tropical life living in a jungle beach kind of town where I don't even need a car to get around. Um, but right now, like, I don't currently have plans to move out of Tucson, Arizona. So if I'm going to stay here, I do need a car and I would want that pearly pink Tesla. So a few routes here because I know, like, we have our dream life, but it's like we can only be in control of so much. So there's a few different routes. Um, and maybe I'll experience both of those in one lifetime, you know? So a pink pearly Tesla, I, that, I want to grow to that point and I want you guys to see that transformation. I want you guys to see me transform from this 2005 Toyota Camry that I've had for nine years. That's a little dinged up and, uh, you know, <laughs> a little dinged up here and there. There's definitely issues here. Uh, this never closes all the way so i get leaks um this light is broken um there's some things on the outside but you get the point she's a little ding she's a little batted up and i know that that uh confidence comes from within first and foremost but it's definitely a real thing to want your environment to match that to reflect that because it's just a constant reminder of like, yes, I am worthy of my dream life. And for me, like being in this car, like I seriously appreciate it so much, like how far it's gotten me, how like I paid it off instantly. And I haven't had to pay a single car payment for the past, you know, eight years at least. Like I think in the first year I was paying it off. But after that, like it was fully paid off, had no car payments. My insurance has been low because this car was so, so low cost. And it's been amazing not having car bills as much, okay? So don't get me wrong. It's been great. It's been real. But that's also what is going to help prep. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. And that's what's going to help propel me to the next stage in my life, which is having that pearly pink Tesla. I want her and I want you guys to see it like because I feel like that's inspiring I have seen not just youtubers but like people on instagram on tiktok I've seen their account grow from zero to 100 100,000 like it's possible and it's so inspiring and motivating to see and I I want to be a part of it I want to be a part of that growth and you can too so it's super exciting so that's one thing I want to glow up about my life is this car also I, I'll be honest, I'm recording on my iPhone right now, but eventually I want a microphone. I want I want two microphones for interviews and I want a nice camera and like a, a set. I want a set. Yeah, I want to like be a full on like interviewer, YouTuber, like vlogger. Like I want to share my life and I, I, wa I want to not be afraid to express myself. I want to help people in any way that I can. And I still feel like a fraud saying that. I'm like, who are you to think you can help people? But that, why am I talking to myself? Like, I would never talk to anyone else like that. I would never. So why do I talk to myself like that? I don't know. I'm working through it. The, the truth is that I am worthy. I am valuable. I have so much valuable information to share. I have so much, like, there are definitely ways I can help people. I have helped people in many ways, in, in growth ways for sure. I've helped people get more in tune with themselves i've helped people heal like multiple people have told me that i have helped them heal and that makes my heart like it makes me want to cry it makes me want to just hug <laughs> um yeah there's there's a lot of healing to go on in this world i know it because i feel it like even when i'm good like i can still feel like the pain of other people in the world i i don't know how but I know that that's, I know that I can like feel like connected to like all living beings. And I don't know what your faith is or religion or if you are or not or what you believe or feel. But um, I'll just go ahead and share what my beliefs are. I do believe in the collective consciousness. So I believe that you and I and plants and everything that's alive, even rock because this earth is a rock that is alive and i consider rocks alive too um i believe that it's all connected i believe that we're all kind of one big breathing thing not literally physically so much but kind of <laughs> like 
I feel like just all consciousness is connected, and the consciousness is, is what in me feels like spiritual. So the reason why I just did quotes is because I know um, not a lot of people are on the same page about like what spirituality even is. Some people get a really like weird feeling around it, kind of like how some people get a weird feeling around like Christianity if they were if they were raised that way and and it was too much for them or. You know, it's just a sensitive kind of touchy subject, but I do want to share my beliefs with you guys because I don't know who out there like just hasn't heard of certain beliefs that resonate with them yet. And I would love to share mine because if it does resonate with you, then awesome. Like that's something that you can take on. And if it makes you feel good, then like perfect. More power to you. That is exactly what we want. You know what I mean? So I do I do consider myself a spiritual person and for me like it definitely ties in with the whole collective consciousness theory and um what made me feel this the most is is actually um when I have not only hurt people but when I have also done something nice for people when you hurt someone you are hurting too. There's no doubt about it. You might pretend that you don't feel it, but you're lying to yourself. It hurts to hurt somebody else, especially if you know you did it on purpose. So, and then when you randomly give to somebody, like when you literally have the intention of giving, like say you give a hobo $10, say you like take your best friend out to lunch, get her to get her nails done. Say you like bake your mom a cake say like you know something random even for a stranger holds open the door for somebody just going out of your way to do something nice for somebody you are guaranteed to feel good from that prove me wrong try and prove me wrong tell me that doing something good for somebody doesn't make you feel good because it does and why is that to me because I believe it's a collective consciousness you're helping yourself by helping someone else and that's why also that's also why I think it's so important for everybody in this day and age when we have the access we all have the access to platforms to share what you know what you believe share your positive energy even share your vulnerable moments because it's okay you are strong enough to share those moments and not let people get to you like whatever like if there are still people that are going to be in the comments being hateful and stuff who cares like hopefully they heal hopefully they heal because that just means that they're not okay truly and you don't have to try to heal them you don't have to do anything about it but you can kind of just disregard the negativity you know what i'm saying so yeah i've been talking for a hot minute um trying to think of what else I okay I'll tell you a little bit more about me just my personality who I am um like I said my name is Katrina I'm 26 years old I live in Tucson Arizona I have lived here pretty much all my life there's only been one year actually like one one to two years where I didn't live in Tucson and that's when I moved to Phoenix which is like our neighbor city it's a bigger city and I went there for college for a little bit um I went to ASU for about well actually before that I went to um a community college here in Tucson to just get my prereqs over with and then I switched over to ASU in Phoenix and I was studying business and I was studying business because I I just I have been drawn to to business all my life. I think it's because I just noticed that like everything around me was a business. Um and also my mom, she had her own business. And so I feel like looking back, that showed me that it was possible to have your own business. So I am so grateful that I was able to see my mom in that position where she had her own business. I think it was good seeing that it definitely um it definitely was formative for me to see that you can have your own small business you don't have to work for a company so I kind of always felt like all my life I kind of always felt like I knew I was gonna be my own boss I kind of had this ego growing up where I was like I I'm gonna be rich I'm gonna be my own boss I'm gonna be a CEO 
I kind of had this whole thing going and it, it's it's kind of still in me. I'm, I'm living it. I'm actually living it. And I felt it all my life. But I've also kind of been like, I've also kind of felt like a fraud. Like I've also felt like not as confident as I need to be to live that life. So it's like, I've been living it to the fullest that I can without having like real confidence. And, but it's been something that has been like a slow build for me. It's, it's been with mindset shifts, realizations, like taking time to myself, reflecting. It's also been learning from others, learning from people close to me, from people on YouTube, on Instagram, like on social media, from books, um, and just sometimes random people that I have had the blessing to encounter in like a restaurant or a grocery store or the gym or like I've had strangers come up to me and sometimes they've said things that are so profound that I'm like what the fuck like that's why I'm spiritual like like so many things have happened where I'm like magic is real you know <laughs> like it's just kind of crazy and and it's something that feels like a like a a roll-off effect where it's like the more I lean into that the more magic happens and so I'm leaning into that right now universe I haven't talked to the universe in a while. I'm going to do it right here on camera in front of you guys. Universe, what's up? Like, I'm sorry it's been a while, but I love you. I am sending out love to every single living being out there, including myself and including anyone that's listening to this. Like, I hope you're having an amazing day, feeling the best that you possibly can. And I am just seriously just expressing so much love right now, breathing in all the love in the world and breathing out all the love and peace and i just hope that that energy that i'm sending out just does even at least just a micro fraction of help out there like you might not have to hear it to feel it but hopefully like i just raise the vibrations a little bit with my beliefs i did by doing that and what i truly believe like i did just raise the vibrations of myself and others so I love talking to the universe. Thank you for listening. And just thank you. Thank you for letting me have the opportunity to be alive right now. Like, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful for the bare minimum to be breathing, to be alive, to be happy, to be feeling. Like, I feel so good right now. And it's just because I'm I'm letting myself, like, just sit here and feel it. And, and speaking out words that are positive and words of affirmation to not only myself but to the universe like I feel like I'm doing good and that increases my confidence it increases my happiness it increases my fulfillment and yeah oh my gosh I'm sorry I just went on so many different tangents but (laughs) um I definitely like will be talking about spirituality a lot here because it means a lot to me and it's changed my life it I I can't live without it like without spirituality I don't feel like I'm fully living I feel like I'm just getting by but with spirituality it brings that deeper meaning and connection all together and it's something where I don't have to rely on anyone else for those feelings I don't have to rely on any other person because I find it within myself so I only need my body which I'm always in that's what I love about spirituality is it's it's always with you like you're you're literally always in your body so this this source of love and happiness and joy and energy and positivity and creativity and intuition it's within you and it's always available it it never runs out you can always tap in and like say you're having a moment or a day where even a week where you're just super tired that's okay that's okay and if you want to sleep you can sleep but make sure you're not doing it for days on end if it's been like four days and you've been sleeping and sleeping you got to get up you gotta get your ass up and it's hard you're gonna feel like you have no energy but what you do is you just start doing something literally just take 10 steps and then all of a sudden you have just created a little bit of momentum and then you just keep going with that momentum and it can be small things like it definitely starts with small things you don't just go from zero to 100 and sustain that no like you figure out what works for you and give yourself grace and just go off that momentum because momentum goes either way like if you're spiraling down you know like you know what that's like it's it's a momentum thing it's like one thing after another but that also happens on the positive end like things can also spiral up 
and it's absolutely a real thing try it like notice something beautiful around you right now it could be me <laughs> just kidding <laughs> it could be the trees it could be the sky like go outside if you're inside go outside right now don't look directly into the sun but get some sunlight on your face put on your spf though <laughs> um and or like touch a tree touch a plant like feel it like notice how it feels and like hear the birds chirping some people hate birds i don't know why they're not robots they don't work for the government they're fine like birds like they're little chirps they're so cute like hear that hear the nature noises hear like the leaves rustling and stuff and even hear just the wind like that's what life really is i i understand how we can feel so disconnected from feeling alive by being in our little box being in our concrete drywall room with no access to fresh air darkness no sunlight like no real food like all the processed food that we're eating and like social media i was talking about the pros for a long time but here's a con like it's not real life let this inspire you to go live your real life to the best of its ability and if you want to do what i'm doing and record your real life and you know try your best to make money while living your life do that like that seems like a win-win-win all around that's why i'm doing it so yeah just when in doubt go outside go connect with nature connect with something natural and let me remind you that if you don't have access to any of that for whatever reason say you're in like a high rise or building and i don't know someone's holding you hostage or some shit you to get through this to survive you are nature okay you don't have to be outside to connect with nature it helps it helps you feel in harmony with nature with more nature but if for some reason you don't have access to like anything other than yourself that's the beauty is that you are nature you came from stardust like you came from this earth okay you were an organism like you were you're like a plant but obviously way more of evolved um or you know maybe we're part alien or whatever but like you are nature you just tap into yourself feel your skin if you've never done this before it might be really weird and this might sound crazy but i'm talking about doing the subtle things that will help you feel alive in your body today right now so you don't waste your life if that doesn't mean anything to you then i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you because for me like life life can be long but it's it can also be very short and if you have experienced deaths in your life if you have experienced loss then maybe this will resonate with you more because i have i haven't like i haven't lost somebody super super close to me but i have definitely lost people like my grandmother who i i honestly was really close to her and like my grandfather and um recently we have had some family friends pass away unexpectedly and quickly and when those things happen it's really it really is a wake-up call like and it absolutely should be a wake-up call for everyone else around everyone who hears about it to realize life is short embrace it like like live your best life because this is all we have all we have is the now all we have is this moment all we have is this life we have this body which is a blessing i hope you appreciate your body like right now tell yourself body i appreciate you thank you for keeping me safe thank you for keeping me alive thank you for growing thank you for healing me isn't that beautiful that our body can naturally heal ourselves like you can get a cut and might leave a scar but it'll heal up it won't stay a cut like those cells will grow and start coming together and protect you it's beautiful our like we have to give our bodies so much more love than we give them i know every single one of you needs to give your body more love and it really starts from within like once you're fulfilled then step number two is serve others do not just be selfish if you're fulfilled be selfish if you're unfulfilled if you feel like your cup is empty be selfish be selfish <laughs> and if your cup is overflowing that is when you serve others give people the water that your cup is overflowing with yeah you don't need excess stuff you don't 
and and that's the beauty of fulfilling up your cup filling up your cup until it's overflowing and then sharing that to others it's the same thing as on a plane when they tell you put your mask on first because you need to be breathing in order to save anyone else because if you are out of oxygen while you're trying to help all your kids you're all gonna die yeah you have to fill up your own cup first and don't feel selfish about it and if anybody makes you feel selfish i mean if anyone makes you feel bad about it that's a them problem that is a hundred percent of them problem they are like that means they're like relying on you or like and obviously it's different if you have kids i do not have kids yet i cannot speak on this yet but i do know that parents can burn out easily i've heard it and i've seen it and i do believe that to be a good parent you do need to check in with your kids and make sure that their needs are, are fulfilled but you can't fulfill all of their needs yourself you also have to teach them how to fulfill their own needs and how you do that is by doing it yourself your kid will observe you more than they will listen to you you hear that and i know that from being a kid i don't know that from being a parent i remember what it's like to be a kid more than what it's like to be a parent so if you're a parent and you have kids actually listen to me because like i'm saying what your kid maybe not maybe not be able to tell you yet and they just want to watch you live your best life in order to learn that they're also supposed to do that we have a problem in this world of people not living their lives people that's why we have so many attachment issues that's why people like get so hurt by others you need to have your own thing going on you need to love yourself you need to know yourself so much that nobody can fuck with you that is how you are going to achieve your fullest potential and if you care so much about others if you want to help them out so much you'll be able to do that best when you're at your best so like either way don't skip this step this is what you got to do i'm on this self-growth journey and no shame even though i have heard a lot of like honestly something that not not even negative comments but something that has been been bothering me about that is like just hearing people be like oh i don't feel like i need that like i feel like i'm good like i feel like i'm chilling like i'm i'm just good great like i'm glad that you feel like you're good and you're chilling but like my sensitive ass is kind of taking that in a way of like oh so like there's something wrong with me so it's like if you're that person like i would say just try to have that empathy for others just like just try to like be there for others and i'm gonna have to wrap it up soon because i think my class is okay i gotta go you guys my class is starting it's pretty much two o'clock right now but i love you guys and um thanks for listening so far i hope that you feel either inspired motivated maybe educated i hope you feel loved and cared for after this because i'm telling you i do care about you and i love you and if you ever need anything find me on instagram katrina dinwiddie message me dm me and we'll talk i'm here for you and i just hope you're having a wonderful day sending love to you all and we'll talk later peace